Taxi tours in English. 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 Taxi Everybody welcome! It's a toxic Come in close. Solutions Cup 21. We have a number of folks from frontline communities who have been battling with some of the companies that are sponsoring uh, the COP21 and sponsoring this Solutions 21 with their pavilions who are going to be giving a tour of their communities and what they're fighting. And up first we have NG, which is actually uh, one of France's largest coal companies that's been lobbying heavily against emission standards in France. Uh, in 2014 alone they spent 2.5 million euros lobbying against emission standards. And here they paid to enter the COP21 Solutions 21 conference to pay for access to negotiators and influence the COP process and greenwash their image. We have some folks here from Australia who have been fighting NG in Australia who want to tell you a little bit about what NG has been doing in that community over here. I'm going to pass it over to Ruth and Sam for the beginning of the toxic tour, so I'm going to let them come to the middle. Hello, my name is Sam Castro. I'm from Australia. NG owns one of the dirtiest power coal power stations in Australia called Hazelwood. NG's coal-fired power station, one of the most polluting coal-fired power stations in the world, is in my home state of Victoria. Activists in Australia have been trying to shut this down for over 10 years because of its climate impacts. In February 2014, a grass fire intercepted the huge open cut brown coal mine adjacent to a power station. It sparked a huge coal fire that quickly surrounded and blanketed the local community. The smoke from the fire was thick with toxic carcinogenic chemicals, including harmful PM 2.5 particles. The nearest town of Morwell is home to 14,000 people. The town was blanketed in smoke for 45 days before an army of volunteer and professional firefighters deemed the fire controlled. In the meantime, residents complained of respiratory problems. Some were forced to evacuate. Others kept in their houses while their homes were covered in ashes and their children's noses bled and asthma skyrocketed. After a parliamentary inquiry in our country, NG was asked to pay $18 million back to the Australian people for the fire that it caused. It was found not only had it failed to rehabilitate the mine site, they had previously removed vital firefighting infrastructure, including defunding their internal firefighting crew and sprinkler system around the mine. NG have refused to pay the bill for the cleanup back to the Australian community. They have refused to rehabilitate the mine site, leaving us with a potential fire happening again. Subsequently, grassroots, group, grassroots groups, Voices of the Latrobe Valley, have found a concerning spike in deaths, respiratory and cardiac disease during and soon after the mine fire period. We continue to fight to hold this French company accountable for the destruction to our local community and environment. And we ask NG today, when will you clean up the mess that you created in my country, in Pay my the bill, town? NG. Pay the bill, NG. $18 million to the community of Morwell. Activists in Australia continue to fight to shut this coal mine down. It is the dirtiest in the world and NG is making billions while people in my local community suffer health consequences for their greed. Enough is enough. Pay the bill, NG. Pay the bill, NG. Pay the bill, NG. Thank you. Who are you? Sorry, who are you? My name is Sam Castro. And I'm an activist from Australia who I came to hold NG to account the damage they've done to our We're from Australia and we're referring to any of the people in Australia. And, uh,
No, no, no. Just, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you stay here for the French one? And then we'll move everyone else. Okay, so we're going to move now over to Suez to visit another one of the doctors. Where are we going? The Suez. on sale here at Solutions 21 in Paris. Some of the dirtiest energy companies, companies that are pushing the privatization of water, companies that are pushing the privatization of public transportation, companies that are operating, like the NG, that operate the dirtiest and most inefficient coal fleet in all of Europe are pushing themselves as the solution to climate change. Where are we going? Where are we going? Case. We're going over to Suez, so maybe they won't let us go over there, so we're going to stay right here. Yeah, I'm shale gas and fracking in Europe and in Britain, uh, what that kind of thing has happened in the United States. So again, you want to talk to a little about fracking, the practice that Suez sponsoring that booth right over there. If you look over the Viopolis, that the primary sponsor is doing. Suez is talking about fracking as a solution to the future. I am from North Dakota over there fracking my homeland and killing our people in the name of a false solution for climate justice. We are looking for renewables. Fracking is not one of them. In North Dakota, they are actually flaring all of this natural gas into the atmosphere. We have people that are dying from the asthmas, from the cancers, from all of the chemicals that must be used for fracking. Literally billions of gallons of water have to be used for fracking. That water is then poisoned by hundreds if not thousands of chemicals in order for them to do their fracking processes. That water can then never be used again for human, animal, or plant consumption. We literally have community members dying in North Dakota because of fracking industries like Suez, and they want to do that to the people here. And it is wrong. It is a false solution. It will poison the land. Everything that spills as a result of fracking kills the wheat fields. It kills the land. Literally nothing grows there again once that poisonous water spills after they do these processes. They need to hold oil. They need to hold gas. They need to hold water. It's important that people understand. What just happened when you tried to no, 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 Walking the over to the um, the booth that's sponsored by Vinci in Suez. Vinci is building the airport at Notre Dame de Lens. That a large grassroots movement in France called the ZAD, the Zad Fund, has been fighting against for the last eight years. And uh, Suez is a natural gas company that's pushing the drive to open up uh, fracked gas in Europe. And uh, the police and security formed a line and prevented us from going to their booth. Uh, but we're going to now head over this way to Veolia because it looks like more police are coming uh, to move that way.